On July 5th, 2011, a YouTube channel known as Roblox Hub was created. This said channel uploaded various Roblox gameplays and funny moments, mainly to give people a reason to play Roblox. It wouldn't last that long though, as only 13 videos were uploaded in 7 months. Even though it may not seem like it, this channel would mark the start of a journey for one individual. This person would become a fan favorite amongst the Roblox community, and even the biggest name in Roblox content creation. Chances are very high that you know the individual in question. This is the story of Albert Stuff aka Flamingo. Some of the people watching this video might be asking themselves, who is Albert Stuff or who is Flamingo? Well, Albert Stuff aka Flamingo is a YouTuber that mainly produces Roblox gameplay videos. Albert has accumulated over 1.33 million subscribers on the Albert Stuff channel and over 10.6 million subscribers on the Flamingo channel, bringing it to a total of almost 12 million subscribers as of writing this, therefore making Flamingo one of the most successful Roblox YouTubers of all time. Of course, Albert Stuff is now dead and Albert switched to Flamingo, where he now remains to this day. But how did Albert rise to fame, and where did he come from? Was he even doing YouTube over 2, 3, 4, 9 years ago? Well, there's actually an interesting story behind everything and more. So, without further ado, let's begin. The story begins all the way back on July 5th, 2011. That was the date that Albert's first channel, Roblox Hub, was created. I mentioned the channel in the opening of the video, but I'll get more in depth right now. Roblox Hub was a channel that focused on Roblox shorts and clips that would give players a reason to play Roblox. This is seen in the description of the channel's first video. The channel would remain active until February 12, 2012, with the last video, Getting Banned for Spamming Roblox, being uploaded onto the channel that same day. Only 13 videos were uploaded to the Roblox Hub channel. After that, it became abandoned. Roblox Hub was forgotten and went unmentioned until a video titled Funniest Way to Get Banned in Roblox was uploaded to the Albert Stuff channel on Christmas Eve 2016. Here is the clip of Albert mentioning the channel for the first time in almost 5 years. Okay, now let's all direct our attention to, uh, to this. God damn, I'm handsome. No pervert to the search bar. Uh, okay, my old Roblox YouTube channel that I used to have. So many crappy videos that I love so much, but I love one more than the others. Just like how my parents love my siblings more than me. But uh, this one, getting banned for spamming Roblox. The, the first frame says my best ban with a big old smiley face that kind of looks like a penis, but I didn't know that at the time because I was much younger. <laughs> this guy, I found him in a game. Like in an actual game. He was playing a game. This is the first time I have ever seen it and the last time I have ever seen it as well. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually pause for a second and mute that shit. That is way too loud. Okay, oh, what do we got here? This is me proving that, oh, Roblox is in this game. I'm about to defend his honor by killing this guy in paintball. The other guy, the guy in the red team. I, oh, and I was very sad because I could not defend his honor. This is me proving that he was in the game again because I was very excited. Um, what do I do next? I spam. I start spamming at light speeds. This is not sped up or anything. This is me spamming. I actually downloaded a program that like spams messages super fast. I just I keep spitting everywhere. There's spit all over my mouth. But I downloaded a program that spams the chat really, really, really quickly. Uh, because you know, I thought it'd be funny, you know, you join a game with Roblox, the account Roblox, it's an admin, and then you just start spamming him, you know, just to annoy him a little bit. This is on my main account, by the way. Streety at the time was my main account. And then look, ban slash Streety, or Street, because you didn't have to type the whole thing. But you know what he did after? After that, he went... <laughs> after the aftermath. After that, <laughs> this was 2012. He banned me for 14 days again. That's like a whole month of Builders Club membership gone to waste if you combine these two bans. This one by far, I think, is the dumbest shit I have ever done on this game. He could- it, why? Why- that's like a guaranteed ban, especially on my main account. I just thought it'd be funny. I mean, it got 
4,000 something views, which is really good for this channel. Um, I haven't touched it in like five years. I haven't touched it in almost five years though. The video brought light to Roblox Hub's existence and the channel would gain a lot of subscribers. The channel was again shown in a Flamingo video titled Albert slash Flamingo Face Reveal. The said video was uploaded on June 8, 2019. At the time of this video being released, the Roblox Hub channel has accumulated over 30,000 subscribers. Expect this number to go up as time goes on. Albert had another channel that was created on September 11, 2011, the same day as the 10th anniversary of 9-11. This channel would be known as Roblox Skate Magazine. This means that Roblox Game Magazine was active at the same time as Roblox Hub, which means that Albert managed two channels at the same time, just like Flamingo and Albert stuff before October 18, 2017. Anyway, Roblox Game Magazine was a channel that focused on videos about Roblox skating, hence the name. Types of Roblox skating videos included montages, tips and tricks, and just random skating videos. A special video titled The Awakening was uploaded to the Roblox Skate Magazine channel on July 31st, 2012. The final video uploaded to the channel, titled Sus Park Mini Montage, was uploaded to Roblox Game Magazine on September 22nd, 2012. This channel lasted for over a year unlike Roblox Hub, which only lasted for a little over 7 months. This channel went unmentioned and forgotten about until a video was uploaded to the Flamingo channel titled Albert slash Flamingo Plays Old Roblox on November 23rd, 2019. Here is the clip of Albert mentioning the channel. Me and some uh, friends ran this channel. Uh, this is an 8 minute video with just filled with copyrighted music. This is one of the most nostalgic. I don't think I've really shown you guys this like that. Just know that this took us months to make. Me and like all my pro skaters. This is one of the skate parks I made. Really good memories. I don't know where that guy is. Master Halo 34. If you're still around, please find a way to get in contact with me. This guy, e <laughs> this guy E Dog 8. He was a. I, I made him one of my pro skaters, and um, what happened? Uh, <laughs> he actually really hated Jake, like Jang G. He really, really, they, Dog really hated him. It's just a, a a vague memory that I have of him. I wonder if he's still alive. This channel is pretty interesting for what it is. At the time of writing this, the Roblox Game Magazine channel has accumulated over 13,000 subscribers. Expect this number to go up as time goes on. Following Roblox Skate Magazine, Albert created his third channel known as Frost Clan Reporter. He did this on February 19, 2012. As for the content on this channel, there's only three videos that can be viewed. Two of the said videos have to do with exploiters and Roblox, while the third video has to do with the raid involving John's Cobras. Due to only three videos being uploaded to the channel, it very quickly faded into obscurity. This was until September of 2018, when Albert revealed Frost Clan Reporter in one of his videos. Knowing the size of his popularity, this caused Frost Clan Reporter to go from 0 to 250 subscribers within one day. This would end up turning into 5,500 subscribers within the next 4 years. Even though this channel doesn't have a lot to talk about, it's still a part of Albert's YouTube journey. A few months after this, Albert created his fourth YouTube channel known as Streety Roblox. He would do this on September 9, 2012. Going over the content of the channel itself, there's not too much to talk about since there's only 4 videos. Two of the videos have to do with admin abuse at two different Roblox clans, while the first video has to do with a speech involving a different clan. The fourth and final video is about Albert's group winning a battle despite the opposing team cheating. This channel, along with Roblox Hub, Roblox Gay Magazine, and Frostclan Reporter, gives viewers a look at how Roblox was back in 2011 and 2012. As someone who began playing Roblox in late 2012, seeing these videos bring back a sense of nostalgia. Anyway, the Streety Roblox channel would soon fade into obscurity, as is the case with all of Albert's old channels. It would go unnoticed until early 2022, when Albert showed a video from Streety Roblox on the Flamingo channel. This caused the subscribers count to go from 2 subscribers to over 2,000 within 3 months. Expect this number to go up as time passes. 
One minor thing to note is that Streety Roblox marks the only time that Albert uploaded videos in 2013. Now we're getting into the juicy stuff. On July 19, 2012, a YouTube channel by the name of Albert Stuff was created. This was during the time that Roblox Game Magazine was active. Albert Stuff was a dead channel until October 28, 2014, where Albert uploaded a video titled Roblox, Scariest Moment Ever in Apocalypse Rising. The video was only 41 seconds long, so I'll just show the entire thing. At the time of writing this, the video has accumulated over 1 million views. This video did not feature Albert's voice at all. The first video to feature Albert's voice is a video titled First Time Playing Five Nights at Freddy's Halloween Special that was uploaded on Halloween Day 2014. The video has since been privated along with the majority of Albert's old videos. A lot of Albert's early content on the Albert Stuff channel consisted of Apocalypse Rising gameplays and just regular gameplays. Playing games such as Roblox, Unturned, CSGO, and stuff like that. He gathered a small yet strong audience of around 16,000 subscribers as seen in this video. Albert then switched to doing commentaries in his edgy style which ended up leading to him getting two community guidelines strikes. As usual, Albert Stuff got back into doing gameplay videos before a specific video was uploaded. On April 25th, 2016, Albert uploaded a video titled Online Dating in Roblox to the Albert Stuff channel. This video was the video that blew up in the YouTube algorithm and turned Albert Stuff into a star amongst the Roblox and YouTube communities. A sequel to the video, titled Online Dating in Roblox 2, was uploaded to the Albert Stuff channel around a week later and also blew up in the YouTube algorithm. These two videos overtook the video titled I Pee My Pants, Beach Vlog with My GF as the most popular video on Albert Stuff's channel. Albert became a fan favorite amongst the Roblox and YouTube communities due to him being different from a lot of YouTubers at the time. Albert then decided to switch to regular Roblox gameplay videos then into Roblox trolling videos as seen in the later years of his channel. On July 9, 2017, a channel by the name of Flamingo was created. Albert then uploaded a video announcing the new channel and urging people to go subscribe to it. This channel was a result of YouTube's new community guidelines involving demonetization for YouTubers that swore too much. This basically killed the Albert Stuff channel entirely. Here's a quote from the announcement video that sets the mood of everything going forward. Before you comment, this will have no effect on the Albert Stuff channel. This will not make me upload less on the Albert Stuff channel. If anything, it'll make me upload more. Albert continued to manage both the Albert Stuff and Flamingo channels until October 18, 2017, when Albert uploaded the final video to the Albert Stuff channel. This video was titled, Loud Noises and Roblox Painful. After this, the Albert Stuff channel was left abandoned forever and ever. When someone asked Albert in a Q&A on why he switched to Flamingo, Albert stated the following. I wanna do YouTube forever and the way YouTube is making certain changes. Controversial content isn't really possible anymore in the long term. Videos are really the only thing I wanna do and I wanna be able to do it for as long as possible. So, for anyone wondering why Albert Stuff was abandoned, it's pretty simple. Demonetization. If you swear excessively in your videos, you won't get as many ads on your videos and in turn not get as much money. Just know, it's okay to swear in your YouTube videos, you just can't swear too much. So, watch how much you curse in your videos.
After Albert switched to the Flamingo channel, the Albert Stuff channel was left abandoned and Albert remains in the Flamingo channel today. He looks very happy making YouTube videos and as a fellow content creator, that's a good thing. I know Kaneko Kitten already discussed this, but I just wanted to add my own thoughts on the subject. However, this isn't without a few problems happening throughout the journey. One common criticism of Albert's videos on Flamingo is that his content is too kid-friendly and not edgy enough. With this being said, a lot of older Flamingo fans prefer his Albert Stuff era videos, which is understandable. They grew up with that kind of content, so it holds a special place in their memories. Whether or not Albert became too family friendly is up for debate. Another point of criticism is not towards Albert himself, but towards his fanbase. A lot of Roblox players have developed a dislike towards Albert's fanbase, mainly due to how they act, dress, and even speak in game. Some examples of this include Flamingo fans using the chill face, dressing up really weird, and even saying phrases such as Yo Tengo. Albert himself has jokingly insulted his fanbase on a few occasions, which shows that he's aware of the flaws that they have. The biggest controversy in Albert's career would come in August of 2020. During this month, old clips of Albert swearing on his Albert Stuff channel would re-emerge. Some of these clips had some very offensive slurs, which caused people to try and cancel Albert for his past content. On August 18th, 2020, Flamingo posted an image on his Twitter page, which was a message apologizing for the offensive material seen in his past videos and owning up to his mistakes. A lot of people forgave Albert after giving out the apology, and it's easy to see why. He takes accountability for his past mistakes and promises to become better moving forward, which he has done. Of course not everyone has accepted this apology, but it's very clear that Albert is much happier not uploading to Albert's stuff. As of May 1st, 2022, the Flamingo channel has accumulated over 10.6 million subscribers and will keep on going up due to Flamingo's insane popularity amongst the Roblox and YouTube communities. He'll continue growing as time goes on, as mentioned before. So, Albert started his YouTube journey with Roblox Hub, then moved on to Roblox Game Magazine, then switched to Frost Clan Reporter, then to Streety Roblox, then moved on to Albert Stuff, where he gained huge success, and then finally moved on to Flamingo, where he resides to this day. This concludes the story of Albert Stuff, and that's everything.